if you would please clear the aisle. Would everyone stand for the grand entrance for tonight's honoree and their family, escorted by Cam the Ram from Colorado State University Prep Band and Miss Rodeo America, Shanae Shiner and Miss Rodeo Wyoming, Holly Kennedy and Miss Rodeo Colorado, Sarah Weens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 35th annual Citizen of the West dinner. Please be seated. I noticed in the entrance Cam the Ram hesitated a bit until his handlers assured him that he was not on the menu tonight. And we're glad to have him here. I'm Hank Brown, your Master of Ceremonies for tonight's celebration for the past, present, and future of our Western heritage. I'm pleased here to honor Dr. John Matsushima, this year's citizen of the West. Seated with Dr. Matsushima are members of his family, his son, daughter, and grandchildren, 
So please stand so that all of us can welcome you. We're delighted for our dinner tonight to return again this year to the center of action, the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo. What a great kickoff to this exciting celebration, having the Colorado State University Prep Band, directed by Dr. Richard Fry. Thank you for a great job coming in. The marching band is a dynamic student organization whose membership has grown to over 300 students. They represent every college on campus. And as bearers of a tradition and the public face of the university and the Fort Collins community, the band member, members proudly exemplify the proud to be a CSU Ram motto. The band performs for crowds at Hughes Stadium and throughout the state, and this year in Dublin, Ireland. Accompanying the band is Colorado State University mascot Cam the Ram. Cam as a name stands for Colorado A&M in honor of the school's historic agricultural history. Cam's handlers tonight are Daryl Beamer, Kevin Westoff, and John Swenson. All are part of an all-volunteer program dedicated to care for the handling of this wonderful animal. Volunteers come from every school within the university, including business, engineering, sociology, zoology, and animal science. I think business got the job of bringing the scoop along after Cam, didn't he? This is the 24th Cam to represent CSU. Have a, straight, a great trip back to Fort Collins. Thank you for being here. When Johnny Matsushima asked me to MC tonight's dinner, I couldn't have been more thrilled. Few folks have truly changed this world for the better in their lifetimes. John Matsushima is one of those who's done that. It's a great pleasure to welcome our friend as a National Western Stock Show Citizen of the West, Dr. John Matsushima. John is a man of vision whose painstaking scientific research at Colorado State University led to a transformational advances in beef nutrition. John knows how to make things grow. His feeding program continues to boost cattle feeding and feedlots worldwide. And in the backyard, backyard at his Fort Collins home, beautiful roses have been grown for years under John's care. The flowers on your table honor this avid rose gardener and typify the beauty that he's brought to our state and our country. John's parents endured enormous hardship to come to America from Japan in 1916. John's early years were marked by hard work and privation. The Matsushima family saved to buy a farm near Platteville, Colorado in Weld County. And John and his seven siblings all graduated from Platteville High School. In fact, John was the valedictorian in 1939. Early on, he was interested in 4-H, and as a teenager, he and another citizen of the West, the late Kenny Monford, regularly competed against each other, taking turns winning blue ribbons. They also became lifelong friends through the process. John attended what's now Colorado State University for both his bachelor's and his master's degree, accumulating an enviable record of academic distinction. After earning his doctorate at the University of Minnesota, he went on to work at the University of Nebraska, proving that no one's perfect. <laughs> but Warren Monford, founder of Monford of Colorado and a longtime member of the State Board of Agriculture, helped persuade John to return to Colorado State University, where he ultimately achieved international recognition for his tireless research into the value of steam flaked corn for the use in cattle feeding. He made other advances that benefited the beef industry, leading to numerous awards. 
Let me give you a quick rundown. In 1984, he received the National 4-H Alumni Award. In 2002, CSU's Best Teacher Award. In 2003, William E. Morgan Alumni Achievement Award. He was named an honorary fellow of the American Society of Animal Science, which also gave him its Distinguished Service Award three years later. What outstanding recognition by both scientific and academic communities. Three years ago, John became the only American in history to be honored with the Japanese Emperor's Citation at the Imperial Palace in Japan for his significant contributions. The award was conferred for his work in educating an estimated 10,000 animal science students at three different universities for helping Japan and many other developing nations in their beef industries and for his pioneering work in researching in beef nutrition. John's even found time in addition to his family to write three books about the history of the cattle feeding as well as autobiography Broad Horizons. Once called the genius of the feedlots by the Denver Post, John Matsushima has promoted international relations with many countries, particularly Japan, has contributed the economic viability of the beef industry nationwide, and has helped further our Western values and way of life. John Matsushima is truly the citizen of the West. I think as all of you know, that while we're here to honor John Matsushima, we're also here to further a very important cause related to the future of the West, supporting the National Western Scholarship Trust. The trust has a long tradition of helping students who pursue an education in agricultural science, rural and veterinary medicine. Since 1983, the Scholarship Trust has awarded over 1,200 scholarships we will miss one of the Trust's greatest supporters, an integral part of the National Western family, Jerry McMorris, who passed away this year. His contributions have been enormous. And now as we begin this program, I ask you to stand as the Colorado State Prep Band plays the Star Spangled Banner. Our thanks to the CSU Prep Band and Dr. Fry. Now please continue standing as John Stolp, the former Agricultural Commission for Colorado and now the Special Policy Advisor on Water to Governor John Hickenlooper, Hickenlooper offers our invocation. John. To honor the Japanese heritage of some of our guests, it is, is a tradition before each meal to thank anyone who helped with the food preparation by saying a simple phrase, etu dakimas. In the spirit, etu dakimas, let us pray. Our Heavenly Creator, we begin this distinguished event to honor Dr. John Matsushima by pausing to give you thanks for the many blessings of life. 
We are very blessed and privileged to live here in this beautiful part of your creation that we call the West. We give thanks for the generosity of the many friends and family of Dr. Matsushima gathered here tonight. We give our heartfelt thanks for the example and the outstanding career of a wise man whose teachings and research and personal ethics have touched so many of us. From the education received directly or from the indirect benefits from Dr. John's research, we give thanks for his contribution for the delicious beef of which we are about to partake. Almighty God, we ask a special blessing for the generosity of the sponsors, the scholarship donors, the tireless committee members for organizing this event, the farm and ranch and industry families that have produced this food, the hands that have prepared the food, and the program to honor this outstanding citizen of the West. We give thanks for your blessing, Lord, on this evening of good food, good fellowship, fond remembrances, lasting friendships, and that you are our creator, our Lord, and the provider of all that is good. Amen. John, thank you, and, and uh, I feel like I've done my job. You learned all that Japanese I taught you. But, uh, <laughs> thanks for your thoughtful words. Please uh, join your, enjoy your salads now, and, uh, but share your attention with, uh, with us on stage for a while as you will. Please be seated. I've asked the co-chair of the steering committee for tonight's dinner and the president of Colorado State University, Dr. Tony Frank, to join me as we highlight the young people whom this dinner will benefit. Tony, I noticed that uh, Cam the Ram did not leave as much of a reminder on the parade in as uh, the Buffalo did a few years ago. What the ram lacks in size, he makes, oh, never mind. Why don't you join me in uh, thanking Senator Brown for his service to our country. I also want to start out um, and acknowledge my coach here for the steering committee, uh, a gentleman who is an uh, iconic figure, um, one of my former bosses on the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, uh, the former president and CEO of the National Western Stock Show, Pat Grant. <laughs> Hank Brown and I have been fortunate to lead great educational institutions within Colorado. He was first president at the University of Northern Colorado, then at the University of Colorado, and he left that position uh, just about the time uh, I came on for my first year as president at Colorado State. I don't think those things are causally related, but never know. Uh, I know that, that Hank would agree with me and all of our colleagues as presidents of Colorado's institutions in saying that we're incredibly proud of what these places bring to the state of Colorado. And Hank and I are joined here on the stage tonight by students holding the flags of each of the 10 Western schools currently receiving National Western Scholarship Trust Awards. As each student is introduced, she'll step forward and please hold your applause until I've acknowledged all of these students. From Colorado State University, where 28 students are currently receiving National Western Scholarships, Jessica Mullen, Aubrey Gray, who represents Adams State College with one scholarship, the University of Colorado Medical School has nine scholarships and is represented here by Cami Allison. Casper College in Wyoming has four scholarships and we have Kelsey Spicer here tonight from Casper. From Larimer Community College, where there are four National Western scholarships, please welcome Christina Apple. Mackenzie Digby is from the University of Wyoming, currently receiving 12 scholarships. 
Laramie Community College, Laramie County Community College has four scholarships. Emily Hartman is here as a representative from the University of Colorado, where there are four rural nursing program scholarships. Please welcome Mackenzie Harris. Colorado Northwestern Community College has two rural nursing scholarships, and Emily Brinton is representing them tonight. Each year, the National Western Scholarship Trust commits to giving 75 scholarships to students in areas of agriculture, medical practice in rural areas, veterinary medicine, the nursing programs that you've heard about here tonight. The future plans and dreams of these young people received a big boost from the National Western Scholarship Trust. Each student receives assistance ranging from $2,500 to $6,000 in scholarship benefits. Since 1983, we, all of you, have awarded over $3.2 million in scholarships. That's an extraordinary number, and I think especially worth noting this year. 150 years ago this year, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Land-Grant Act that created institutions like Colorado State, changed all of these other wonderful higher education institutions you've heard of, and really, I would argue, changed our country based on the principle of offering access to education to anyone with the talent and the motivation to earn that opportunity. With your support for this program and the National Western Scholarship Trust, I would suggest to you that you're all a part of that heritage of Abraham Lincoln and land-grant universities. So let's again give all of the people who participated in the scholarships, as well as these scholars who are here tonight, the future leaders of this state and this nation, let's give them all a big hand. Tony, great job. Thank you for, uh, for, this, uh, for being part of this great ceremony and your leadership in it. But most importantly, thank you for the fabulous job you've done at CSU. The quality of the students and the great reputation and growing uh, research and uh, academic excellence of the institution are a testimony of the outstanding job you've done. And I think all of Coloradans are proud of what you've accomplished with it. Well, each year we also remember Each year we also remember citizens of the West from years gone by. If you would please turn your attention to the video roll call of these important past honorees. Red Fenwick. Willard Sims. Frank Ricketson. Ed Hannan, Axel Nielsen, Pete Smythe, Alan and Gerald Phipps, William H. McNichols, Nicholas R. Petrie, Charles Gates, John and Ann Love. Senator Al Simpson. Kenneth W. Monfort. William K. Coors. Vice President Dick Cheney. Rollin Barnard. Ben Houston, Senator Cliff Hansen, Brownie and Fum McGraw, Daniel Ritchie, W.D. Bill Barr, Justice Byron White, Ned and Mary Bell Grant family, Albert Yates, William J. Hibble, 
True Family of Wyoming. Marvin Beeman. Sue Anschutz Rogers. Cortland Dietler. Senator Hank Brown. Dick and Eddie Robinson.